Hi, my name is Jacqueline Hackman, and I work at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in the Department of Pathology. I'm here to talk to you today about one of my recent papers investigating the role of SOX9 mutations in colorectal carcinoma. SOX9 is a transcription factor that's often been identified as both an oncogene and a tumor suppressor depending on the type of cancer that has been studied. Recently, it's been found that approximately 10% of colorectal carcinomas harbor SOX9 mutations, but not much else was known about SOX9 mutations in colorectal carcinoma. We investigated a large cohort of approximately 300 patients with uh, next generation sequencing who had SOX9 mutations. We found that the types of mutations were often truncating, that they occurred with KRAS mutations, and were mutually exclusive with TP53 mutations. Additionally, the truncating mutations were most commonly seen in the last exon of the gene. When we studied these tumors that had mutations in the last exon, we would perhaps expect them to have decreased expression. However, because they were in the last exon, they weren't subject to nonsense media decay. Thus, the proteins were still expressed on immunohistochemistry, and also at a DNA copy number level, sometimes there was gain of the mutated allele. So we found that SOX9 truncating mutations actually led to overexpression of a mutant SOX9 gene. The SOX9 gene that would have been transcribed and was overexpressed was similar to another SOX9 transcript that's been studied already and is found to be oncogenic. So in summary, we found that truncating SOX9 mutations, especially in the last exon, may lead to a novel isoform of SOX9 that is oncogenic and this may have a significant role in colorectal carcinoma. Thank you. Please check out my paper, Recurrent Truncating SOX9 Mutations Are Associated with SOX9 Overexpression, KRAS Mutation, and TP53 Wild Type Status in Colorectal Carcinoma. It's published in OncoTarget, Volume 7, Issue Number 32.